Cutter's accessory kit comes with a steel collar to install on the media guide rollers on the rear of the machine. To line the collar up with the media guides above, simply drop a straight edge along the side of the tracking guide at the rear top of the machine and line up the collar along the bottom media accordingly. The AT template media is a 10 mil vinyl material that is cut by only cutting partially through the material for easy snapping out and placement. Next you will be loading your template material into the cutter. Simply lift the lever on the left side of the machine to disengage your pinch wheels. Feed the material with the rough side facing down over the lower guide bars in the back, over the drive roller, and finally over the front lower guide bar. Once the material is through the machine, engage your pinch wheels. To move the pinch wheels, disengage them and crimp the back and front of the pinch wheel and slide it into the appropriate position. Align the edge of the material against the inside of the tracking guides, then make sure that your pinch wheels are 1 to 2 inches from the outside of the template material before locking them into place. Using the joystick on either side of the machine, move 5 to 10 feet worth of material forward, then backward through the machine. You are looking for a straight and even path through the machine with no bunching of material near the pinch wheels. The right hand guide wheels are fixed. If they become out of adjustment, you can change their position by loosening the set screw on each collar, repositioning them, then retightening the screw. They should be set to 3 and 3 eighths of an inch from the side of the machine to the inside edge of the guide wheels. When powering up the iTech cutter, the machine should go through a series of brief diagnostics and initializations before displaying the numbers C, 1, three zero on the digital display. The material is cut using a 60 degree angle blade that resembles an X-Acto knife. The depth of the cut is determined by how much pressure is applied to the knife. Using the up and down force keys will change the depth of your cut. The more the force, the deeper the cut. The two right hand digits on the display are your actual force settings. The speed keys work the same way. The higher the speed, the faster the cut. ADSI recommends a speed between 10 and 15 when cutting template media for better accuracy. You can advance the material backwards and forwards by pressing the up and down arrows on the joystick. The right and left arrows are used to position the cutting head. The factory default speed and force settings can be changed and saved for easy recall. Six different sets of parameters can be saved into the machine. To save your settings, simply press the select key and press the left arrow until you find the set menu, press select again, and press the up arrow, and select save. The number one will appear as it represents your first set of saved parameters and is your powering up setting. Press select again and the settings will be saved to the cutter. You can load your other saved settings by simply selecting the Load option from the Set menu instead of Save. This is useful for cutting different types of material if you are not exclusively cutting template material. To install your knife tool, place it in the tool holder on the cutting head, being careful not to puncture the template material with the knife. Once placed, tighten the thumb screw to lock it into place. Over a period of time, the knife blade will become dull from cutting the template material. To replace the blade, remove the knife tool from its holder, unscrew the black cap, and carefully remove the small blade with a pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Once the blade is removed, place the new blade in the knife holder and screw the cap back on, then place the knife tool back in the tool holder as shown in the previous step. 